Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Can we just praise the Lord on today? Lift our hands and give, give thanks to the Lord on today. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord on today, Lord, oh God. Today's reading will be coming from Psalm 103, verse number 1 to verse number 4. And it reads, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is with me, within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy love from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, you're worthy, God. There's none like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Your name is worthy to be praised, Lord. Come on, everybody. Let's praise the name of Jesus. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah, come on, come on saints, let's worship, let's worship, in the name of Jesus, your mighty God, your name is to be exalted, Lord Jesus, we lift your name on high, Jesus, there's none like you, Lord, there's none compared to you, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, we bless your name, Jesus, your king of kings, Lord, your lord of lords, Jesus, El Shaddai, the God of plenty, Jesus, you're worthy to be praised, God. We magnify your name, Jesus. We lift you up, Lord. We bow down before you, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You're marvelous, Jesus. You're mighty, God. You're all-powerful, Lord, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're worthy, Jesus. You're worthy, God. Hallelujah. Jesus, we come before you this morning. We lift your name on high, Lord Jesus. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the praise, Lord. There's none like you, Jesus. There's none compared to you, Lord. And we come before you today, Lord God. We thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for clothing us in our right minds, Lord Jesus. We thank you for journeying mercies, Lord. We thank you for providing. We thank you for keeping us safe. We thank you for protecting us, Lord Jesus. And Father God, we are thanking you, Lord Jesus, for everything that you have done in our lives. Everything you are doing right now, everything you are about to do, Lord Jesus, we are putting our faith in you, God. We are trusting you, Lord. We are depending on you, Jesus, to work miracles in our life, Lord Jesus. Father God, we give you thanks, Lord God, for bringing us here safely, Lord Jesus. We thank you for this day. We thank you for the opportunity to come together one more time to worship your name, Lord Jesus. Father God. As we are about to begin today's service, Lord Jesus, we ask for your forgiveness, Lord Jesus. We ask that you will wash us, Lord God. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you will search us, Lord God. Purge us, Lord God, from, from, from all impurities, Lord Jesus. Creating us a clean heart, Lord God, and renew a right spirit within us, Lord Jesus. Let us all be on one accord on today, Lord God. Father God, let there be a move of your Holy Spirit in this sanctuary, Lord Jesus. Father God, we ask that you will worship with us, Lord God, on today, Lord God. Father God, we ask that you will move through this place, Lord Jesus. We ask that you will sprinkle your bloodstained banners in every corner of this building, Lord Jesus. 
Father God, we ask like that you will help us to worship your name like we have never done so before, Lord God. Father God, we ask that you will send a word forth this morning, Lord Jesus. Father God, we ask that you will let your people, Lord God, live here like they never lived here before. Let them, Lord God, be touched, Lord Jesus. Let there be a move, Lord God. Father God, we ask that you will work miracles in today's service, Lord God. Let chains be broken, Lord Jesus. Let there be deliverance in today's service, Lord God. Father God, we ask that you will heal those who need healing, Lord God. Those who need a very special touch, Lord God. We ask that you will touch them on today, Lord Jesus. Father God, renew Holy Ghost in us to Lord, today, Lord Jesus. Father God, let there be a refreshing in our spirit, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, those who aren't here today, Lord God, those who are worshiping with us online, Lord God, let them feel the move of your Holy Ghost today, Lord Jesus. Father God, touch hearts, Lord Jesus. Let there be a change in someone on today, Lord God. Father God, have your sweet way in today's service, Lord Jesus. Touch the speaker, Lord God. Touch each and every one of us in their, in their respective places, Lord God. Touch everyone, Lord God. Move through this community, Lord Jesus. Let the whole community feel your power, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I place everything in your hands, Lord God. I place everything in your hands, Lord God, and I call it done, Lord Jesus. As I look to you, Lord, and tell you thanks, in your mighty and holy name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I now ask the praise team to come and lead us in today's praise and worship. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When I woke up this morning, when, I, when my eyes popped wide open, the Lord instantly spoke to me, and he said that my grace is sufficient for you. My grace is sufficient for you. My love is sufficient for you. My peace is sufficient for you. For you, and I just begin to thank the Lord for his mercy and his grace this morning. I'm thankful this morning. His grace is sufficient for you because you are here today. His grace is sufficient for you because of his love. It's sufficient for you. That means it's enough for you. It's enough for all of us. It's enough to go around for each and every one of us. And I believe today if we come with an open heart, an open mind, a purpose in mind, a purpose in heart this morning that we give our God the best that we can give to him because he alone is worthy to be praised. He alone is worthy. Hallelujah. There is none like Jesus. Hallelujah. There is none like the Lord Jesus. Who could save you nobody but Jesus who could deliver you nobody but Jesus who could give you joy nobody but Jesus who is the Prince of Peace our God Jesus hallelujah he's merciful I thank him this morning for his grace for it is sufficient for you and I his grace is sufficient for you and I his grace is sufficient for you and I hallelujah thank you Lord what a privilege and an honor to be able to worship our King uh, come on somebody in the room shout hallelujah come on praise ye the Lord hallelujah come on let's shout hallelujah come on let's fill this atmosphere with Thanksgiving let's fill this atmosphere with praise hallelujah come on hallelujah all the wind that blew on last night it can blow over until today hallelujah come on fresh wind blow in this room oh hallelujah thank you Jesus come on somebody shout hallelujah 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 come on we got eyes we can see we got legs that we can walk we have a tongue that we can give God the glory come on can't nobody do us like Jesus hallelujah Lord you are good Lord you are worthy hallelujah 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 Thank you, 
mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Lord, we love you today, Lord. We honor you, Jesus. We reverence your presence in this place today. Hallelujah. We exalt thy name, oh God. We extol thy name, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh God, our strength. Hallelujah. And our Redeemer. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to let y'all know that we are all praise and worship leaders this morning. Amen. Come on, so get your microphones in your hand, and let's begin to give God the glory together. Hallelujah. You may not have a physical microphone, but you do have a built-in microphone. Come on, we're going to shout unto the Lord. We're going to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear the be glad or oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Together, together. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us exalt his name together. Almighty oh, God. Almighty oh, God. Almighty oh, God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, we got to make the enemy mad this morning. Hallelujah. We got to make him even more mad this morning because you got up out of your bed this morning and you walk yourself into the house of the Lord. You already defeated the enemy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And because you came in the presence of the Lord, you're going to purpose in your mind to give God the glory and let the enemy know who has the power. Hallelujah. Let him know who has the authority. Hallelujah. Hey. Glory to God. Hey. Wow. Let the enemy know who has the victory. Hey. Oh. Everybody clap your hands. Open our mouth. 
Come on, let's shout out to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody in the room, let's shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. With the fruit of your lips, can we give it unto the Lord Jesus? Come on, hallelujah. All from your belly, from your heart, hallelujah. Can we give it to him today? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can we begin to lift up our hands right here? Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, lifting up the other hands is a sign of surrenderance. Come on, it's a sign of you giving your weight over to the Lord. It's a sign that you're giving your burdens to the Lord. Come on, he is a burden bearer. He's your heavy load sharer. Come on, whatever you need him to be today. Come on, let's utter it with our lips today. Come on, from our hearts, God, we need you today. We cannot make it on our own. We cannot make it within our own strength. Hallelujah. We have to lean on you, Jesus. We need you, Lord Jesus. Every day and every hour, we need you, Jesus. We cannot function without you, Lord God. We cannot maneuver without you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, his grace is sufficient for you and me. Come on, his love lifted you and me. Hallelujah. He gave us peace even in the midst of chaos. Come on, he's our prince of peace. Hallelujah. Everything that we need him to be everything that we need him to be hallelujah he's everything that we need him to be lord you're everything that we need you to be god you're more than enough for us oh jesus you're more than enough for us oh god hallelujah thank you jesus for it is no goodness of our own Hallelujah. It is no goodness of our own. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we stand here today with humility, Lord Jesus. With surrenderance to your will, Lord God. Oh, that you increase in us, Lord Jesus. That we decrease, God, and let you have your perfect way. Thank you, Jesus. That we quit trying to figure it out and just let you work it out. Uh, that we quit trying to put our little two cents in there and just let you have your way, God. Oh, God, for your thoughts are not like our thoughts, nor your ways are like our ways. Oh, Jesus, you lead the way. Yes, God, and we will follow. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, he's good. Hallelujah. He's great and greatly to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Thank you, Jesus. I could serve for all eternity long and find there is none like you. Can we lift up our hands and our hearts today and say there is none, there is none like you. Come on, say no one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search for all eternity long. I can search for all eternity long. And find, and find there is none. There is none. There is none. Oh, there is not. There is none like you. 
Come on, everybody, from the top, can we sing? There is none, there is none like you. Real simple, say, no one else could touch my heart like you do. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Say, I could search for all eternity.
Thank you, Lord. Can we clap our hands again for our Lord and our Savior? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we give it to him right here? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on. I used to hear people say that hallelujah is the highest praise. And, and it's actually not. It's whatever praise you give to the Lord. Hallelujah is not biblical, but whatever praise you give to God is, your, is the highest praise. If it's a higher, or a hallelujah, or a thank you, Jesus, or if it comes from your heart sincerely, that's the highest praise. Amen. Come on, hallelujah means praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a command. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So can we shout hallelujah? Can we shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Come on and bless the Lord with me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Can we clap our hands right here?
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All that that we just did, hallelujah. God is worthy of that and then some more. Hallelujah. We can never clap enough. We can never stomp enough. We can never jump enough. We can never run enough. Hallelujah. God is worthy of that and so much more. Hallelujah. And we praise God. Hallelujah. For praise and worship on today. Hallelujah. And just freedom in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about anybody else, but I remember, hallelujah, when I was bound. Hallelujah. I remember, hallelujah, when I would come into church. Hallelujah. And I would be glued to my seat. I couldn't get up. Hallelujah. Because Satan had me so bound in my mind. Hallelujah. But I thank God for the opportunity to jump and run. Hallelujah. And to say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. With freedom. Hallelujah. I thank God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's what the Lord, hallelujah, has graciously given to all of us. Hallelujah. Who are saved. Hallelujah. Baptized in his name. Hallelujah. Filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are partakers of that freedom in Jesus. Hallelujah. So we thank God for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to say the announcements and move on out the way for the word of God. Hallelujah. We have a couple of announcements um, this week. Just some regular um, announcements. Monday night is our weekly prayer and intercession, and this is at 7 p.m. every Monday. Hallelujah. In the sanctuary. Hallelujah. And it's not just for the adults. Hallelujah. The kids can come down and get down in prayer as well. Hallelujah. It's encouraged. Hallelujah. That you bring the whole family. Hallelujah. Because everybody needs prayer. Hallelujah. Luke 18 and 1 says, men ought always to pray and not to faint. Hallelujah. So that's just a reminder that um, that we should be in prayer service at any moment in time that we can in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We have our Tuesday night interactive Bible study that's a, that is also at 7 p.m. It's also here um, in the sanctuary. We have classes for the smaller children um, in the fellowship hall. So we have classes for the young adults and the adults here in the sanctuary and for the younger children that is in the fellowship hall and it's also at 7 p.m. in Jesus precious name hallelujah um Thursday morning, if you would like to join in um via zoom at 8 p.m. so this is our midweek service that does not start at 7 but it starts at 8 I'll tell y'all a funny story I was driving one day um and I was I was far away from home and it was like seven it was like six something and I was like, oh, man, I got to get on prayer call at 7. And I, I got on. I said, well, where they at? And then I, and I was like, okay, I'll leave and I'll come back. I got back on. It was like 7.15. I was like, well, listen, I don't know what's going on. But it was me. So it starts at 8. Don't make my mistake. It starts at 8, not 7. In Jesus' precious name. Uh, we have a couple other announcements. We want to say happy 65th birthday. Hallelujah. I'm, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, I should, I'm sorry. Forget that I said the number. Happy birthday, Elder Miller. It is his birthday today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for a number of years of life. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, and we'll sing happy birthday after all the announcements. Hallelujah. Have gone through in Jesus' name. Um, we have our youth service this Friday at 7 p.m. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Um, so please um, join us if you are here. Bring um, the youth and even the um, older adults. Um, bring, you know, somebody with you, your coworker, your friends, whoever it might be. Um, it's a youth service on this Friday. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, we want to say, we want to take this time to say welcome to Word of Life Church of Sumter. I do see some people that I've never seen before. I'm not sure if they've been here before, but um, we want to welcome you to Word of Life Church. We hope that you feel welcome. <laughs> hallelujah. We hope that you feel welcome. Hallelujah. As the presence of God, hallelujah, has met us today in Jesus' precious name. Um, we will have an outreach this Saturday at 11 a.m. So that's this Saturday at 11 a.m. It will be outreach in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We have another discipleship class Friday night, October 21st at 7 p.m. And Sister Tia um, is our coordinator and teacher for the discipleship classes. So um, you can get with her with the information, um, the location, and all of that good stuff if you would like to be a part of that in Jesus' name. Um, Pastor Mag has been invited to preach.
Saturday, October 22nd at 5 p.m. in Charleston, South Carolina. So that's October 22nd. That's 5 p.m. and that's in Charleston. And I'm sure um, all the locations and dates and all that good stuff will be forthcoming in Jesus' name name hallelujah last but certainly not least mark your calendars for our third year church anniversary hallelujah hallelujah we thank god for three years hallelujah um that the ministry has been in place in jesus name and that is november 4th through the 6th so mark your calendars accordingly for all of those things um that we have stated um previously in jesus name so please govern yourselves accordingly to all of the announcements that have been stated. We're going to sing happy birthday to Elder Miller because we thank God for allowing him to see this year of life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Elder Miller. Hallelujah for another birthday. Hallelujah. And we pray that it is a wonderful year of life for you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Now it is our um, our time for tithe and offering that we can give back to the Lord with what we have earned through the weeks in Jesus precious name. So we have a couple ways that you guys can give. You can give by downloading the Givelify app and you can um, go on the App Store, Google Play Store, which, whichever have you. Um, and you just search for Word of Life Church of Sumter. So that's on the Givelify app and you search Word of Life Church of Sumter. We also have, um, you can give by way of Cash App and the cash tag for that is dollar sign W-O-L Church Sumter. That um, cash tag is dollar sign W-O-L Church Sumter. Sumter. You can also give um, by mail or in person. So that's one, two, three, four ways that you can give in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Um, and if you are watching with us via live stream, all of this information is posted on the screen for you. We thank you for joining us and we pray that you have been blessed this far in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. As always, we thank you for your faithful giving to this ministry and we pray God continues to bless you and cause your cup to run over. Hallelujah. So if you guys could stand with me with whatever gift that you have in your hand to offer to the Lord, we'll say our offering declaration, and I will move out of the way in Jesus' name. Lord, as we give our tithes and offerings today, we commit our finances to you. Be in charge of our finances and use them for your purposes. May we be good stewards of all that you give us. We ask that we will live free of burdensome debt, and where we have been unwise, bring restoration and give us guidance. Give us wisdom to handle money wisely. Show us how to plan for the future. Help us to remember that all we have belongs to you and to be grateful for it. We pray that we will not be anxious about finances, but will seek your kingdom first, knowing that as we do, we will have all that we need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, service is now in the hands of our brother.
Clap your hands and give God praise in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Everybody ought to. How many is glad to be in the house of the Lord on this second Sunday in the month October? Truly, God is a good God. And he is worthy to be praised. We thank God for a wonderful service thus far. We are praying that this praise is pleasing unto the Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name. The word of the Lord is getting ready to come forth. Amen. With our hearts are prepared to receive the seed of the word. Amen. The word is good. Somebody shout, the word is good. We're just looking for good ground to sow it into. So we prepare the hearts by praise and worship. Open up our hearts to receive the word from the Lord. Glory to God. And so before we do that, we do want to welcome everybody to the house of the Lord. Amen. Welcome to Word of Life Church of Sumter. Amen. In Jesus' name. We're praying that you already feel welcome in Jesus' name. And we do want to, amen, thank God for Le Leroy Williams. Thank God for Brother Leroy Williams, amen, being here at Word of Life Church of Sumter on this Sunday. We count it an honor and a privilege, amen, to have him here today. He could have chosen to go anywhere today, amen, but he drove from St. George, I think, St. George, or Bowman, 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 to be with us today. We ought to give God a praise for him, hallelujah. Come on, let's give him a great Word of Life welcome. Can we do that? Amen, amen. God bless you. Thank God he's here visiting and a guest of Brother Brandon Miller. Let's give God praise for Brother Miller in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother Leroy Williams, you have any words to say to us today? You want to greet us? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
Amen. Come on, let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. You're welcome at any time, brother, to be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We also have, amen, brother Hakeem Ferguson. Amen. Let's give God praise for brother Ferguson being in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. A great welcome from our World Life family to you. Amen. You want to say something to us? Amen. God bless you. Welcome at any time. Amen. We heard some good things about you. Amen. And I haven't spoken to you yet, but I could just see the confidence on your face, and I know that what Brother Josh has been saying is not a lie. Amen. Good, good, good character in Jesus' name. Thank God for Elder Joshua White. Amen. Inviting him to church. Amen. 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 Let's all stand really quick. Amen. And just, amen, look at your neighbor and shake their hands and Tell them, praise the Lord. It's good to have you in the house of the Lord. I'm so, man, it's so good that we can come together and praise God together. Hallelujah. We're having a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Everybody feeling good in the house of the Lord? Amen, amen, amen. We're going to actually stand one more time unto the Lord. Let's lift up our hands and begin to worship the Lord for a few seconds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for what you're getting ready to do, God. We open up our hearts to you now, God. Speak to our minds. Speak to our hearts. Give us a word, God. In the name of Jesus, God, send a miracle, signs and wonders to be done in this place today. Fill somebody with the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, trouble the waters today of baptism. And Father, we will forever give your name praise. Bless our speaker today. As the white is coming before us, we give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord again. I may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. We give an honor to the spirit of the Lord Jesus. It's the head of my life. We give an honor to our pastor here, Pastor Troy Mack. Uh, his wife, Lady S Stephanie Mack. Thank God for all the elders. Elder Miller, his wife. Elder Redwood, his wife. Give honor to my wife. To all the saints of God in the house of the Lord, we thank God for being here one more time. We greet you in the name of Jesus. 
that saving name, the only name that can save us. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Uh, I'll give a special honor to my cousin, Hakeem, for being with us today. God bless you. Good to see you, cousin. Love you. Amen. I thank God for the opportunity to stand before you one more time. Truly, we know we're not worthy, but God counts us worthy. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you right now, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the time that we had up to this point, oh God. God, we thank you, God, for the service that we experienced yesterday, God. We thank you for the wind, hold on my shot, God, that blew in that place, oh God. God, we ask in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you meet us here today, oh God. God, have thine own way, oh God. God, sit me down, oh God. Let your Holy Spirit speak, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. I'm just the clay, God. Thou art the potter, God. Mold me and shape me how you want me to be, God, today, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, help us to speak those things that are spirit in our life, oh God. And we will give you praise, glory, and honor. Count it as done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, today, I will be soliciting uh, some readers. Doing some teaching today. Uh, I feel like teaching again. Thank you. Um, so if I could get some people with some mics, um, and we'll go from there. Uh, but a thought I would like to leave with you uh, says, I wasn't worthy, but he chose me. I wasn't worthy, but he chose me. He changed my name. If I could use the subtopic, the person I want to talk about today, very familiar person in the Bible, uh, I call him Jacob. The sub thought I would like to leave with you simply says, he's the God of Jacob too. He's the God of Jacob too. I got some readers for me. Uh, I want to talk about Jacob. I'll just give you a little background on who Jacob was. Jacob was the younger twin of Esau. Uh, they were the sons of Isaac and Rebekah. They were twins, but they were different. Uh, Esau was a hunter beloved by his father who loved to eat the meat he hunted. Jacob was more of an indoor person who was beloved by his mother, Rebekah. Uh, the name of Jacob means supplanter, a uh, one who seizes, circumvents, and or usurps. Uh, when we study Jacob, the son of Isaac, we find that he lives up to his name using manipulation and deception to supplant his brother, not once. Uh, but two times. Uh, if you guys can go with me to the scriptures, because I need some readers. So we're going to do a lot of reading and talking today. Um, the first scripture I would like to go to is Genesis chapter 25, beginning at verse 29. We're going to read through verse 34. Um, somebody else or the same person can get Genesis 27, verse 18. Uh, we're going to go through 29. And then I'll tell you the next verse to go on after that. Uh, so we're going to go Genesis chapter 25, Genesis chapter 27. If you have it, let me know by saying amen. amen. Who's reading? Are uh, we going to start at verse number 29? Jacob, the supplanter. We're going to see Jacob in action. Jacob, the supplanter, the deceiver. Who has it? Go ahead, brother. And Jacob sought pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Stop. So we find here, uh, remember I said Jacob was an indoors person. Uh, Esau was a hunter, right? 
So in this particular instance, uh, uh, Jacob is, is at home, and he's apparently made uh, some pottage or some food. And Esau has come in from hunting all day, and he's tired. He's tired, and he just wants something to eat. He just want to replenish himself. Uh-huh. And so he asks his brother Jacob for something to eat. Go ahead. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, sell me this day thy birthright. So Jacob, his response to his brother coming in tired and weak from doing all this hunting, his response to him when he says, I'm hungry, he says, sell me your birthright. He doesn't offer him something to eat. But he's thinking of a way of how am I going to get his birthright. This is an opportunity for me to supplant my brother. I see you hungry. Guess what? Give me your birthright. <laughs> Go ahead. And Esau said, behold, I am at the point to die. I'm, at the po I'm about to die, Jacob. Brother, I'm about to die. You want to talk to me about a birthright? No, I'm about to die. Go, go ahead, brother. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? What, what good is my birthright going to do to me at this point? I'm about to die. So what good is a birthright going to do to me? Jacob ain't got no kind of compassion for his brother at all. He's the deceiver, the supplanter. Go ahead, brother. And Jacob said, swear to me this day. And he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pot pottage. Then, then, he said, swear to me. This man, his brother is at the point of death. And he took advantage of him. Any, any of us were, were manipulators or deceivers when we was in the world? Are, are, we, are we like that even in the church? Any Jacobs in the house? We got any Jacobs in the house? No compassion, no love for our brother? Taking advantage of people? Do we have any in the house? This is Jacob we're talking about. We're talking about Jacob, the deceiver, the supplanter. He manipulated his brother and took advantage of his brother at the point of death. And he used it for his advantage. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up, and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. So stop. So the Bible makes a difference, distinct difference between Jacob and Esau. In that one verse, and that whole depiction, Jacob apparently wanted the birthright. He saw the importance of having the birthright. Esau, the Bible said he despised it. It didn't mean nothing to him. He didn't see the value in it. So Esau, we call him carnal-minded. Jacob, even though he was the deceiver and the supplanter, he still had some spirituality about himself. He understood the importance of the birthright. Glory be to God. And even though he used deception to get it, he understood that he was going to get it by any means necessary. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, the next scripture we want to go to is Genesis chapter 27. We're going to watch Jacob the deceiver in action again. Chapter 27, verse 18 through 29. Who's reading that? And then we're going to go to uh, verse 35, 36, and then 41. But right now we're going to 18... Verse 29, all the way to verse 29. And he came unto his father and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, who art thou, my son? Okay, stop. So this is Jacob coming to his father. Now remember he tricked Esau to give him up his birthright. He manipulated him to get his birthright. All right? So now Isaac is at the point of death. He's getting ready to leave the scene. And so now he's ready to give out blessing to his son. And so here comes Jacob seizing an opportunity once again 
to steal the blessing and supplant his brother. Now, remember I told you that Isaac, to a fault, loved Esau. He didn't love Jacob like that. His mother loved him. So can you imagine how Jacob felt not having the affection or love of his father? So that played into him not caring about what Esau thinks. He's like, I'm going to supplant him by any means necessary. I'm going to supplant him. So this is where we are in the text. Isaac is getting ready to give out blessing, and he wants to give it to Esau. But here comes Jacob, the deceiver, the supplanter. Thank you, Jesus. And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn. So Isaac says, who are you? Right? Jacob lies and says, I am who? Esau. Esau. So he's pretending to be Esau. He's deceiving. He's trying to supplant his brother. (laughs) Keep reading. I have done according as thou baddest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my venison, that thy soul may bless me. So Isaac told Esau to go out and hunt and get some food, kill it, bring it to me. Because remember I told you that he loved his brother's meat, or his son's meat. He loved Esau's meat. He loved the venison. So he told him to go out there, kill, make me something to eat. Bring it back to me. Let me enjoy your food, and then I'm going to bless you. Jacob's mother overhears this. She loves Jacob. She, th- she don't love Esau like that. She loves Jacob, so he te- she tells him to go, and let's go deceive your father. And Jacob agrees to it, right? So here we are. <laughs> he makes the meat, and he's giving it to his father, and you see him about to deceive his father. But remember I told you, remember the thought. He's the God of Jacob, too. He's the God of, hallelujah. He's the God of Jacob, too. Keep reading. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hold on my shire. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on my shire. Thank you, God. And Isaac said unto his son, how is it that thou hast found it so quickly? How would you get food that quick? How would you go and kill some game? (laughs) The Bible says venison. We know venison as deer, but. Back then, it could have been anything. How did you go hunt and kill, dress it up, clean, cook it that quick? How would you do it that quick? So here you go. Isaac is a little, now he's a little suspicious now. <laughs> he's like, that was too quick. But here comes Jacob, persistent. Keep reading. <laughs> and he said, because the Lord thy God brought it to me. Hold up. Now he's lying on God. <laughs> He said, the Lord thy God, Father, the God that you serve, he brought it to me. I ain't had to go look and hunt for it like that, which technically he really didn't. (laughs) But the Lord didn't bring it to him. (laughs) So he was such a deceiver, such a supplanter, that he lied on God. (laughs) How many of us lie on God? How many... False prophets we have in the land saying, God said this, and God said that, and God going to do this, and God going to do that. God going to bless you, even though you ain't born again. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hold on my shire. The spirit of Jacob. Hold on my. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Are you still the God of Jacob? said unto Jacob, come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son. Mm. Whether thou be my very son Esau or not. Okay. So he's suspicious, first of all, at how fast he got that food to him. So he says, come closer to me, Jacob. Now, Jacob is a good deceiver, good manipulator now. He already has stuff set up. Him and his mama together. He he has something to, 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 to combat anything that Isaac can bring to him, right? Now, Esau was a man of the field, and he was hairy. He was hairy, and he smelt like outside. You ever heard that term? You know, (laughs) 
Boy, go in there and take a bath. You smell like outside. You know, parents used to say that. That's how Esau smelled, like outside. But he had a unique smell. So did Jacob. Jacob didn't smell that bad because he was an inside person. The Bible said he had smooth skin. But he and his mother had already had a fix, already had a remedy. They went and dressed Jacob up in some hairy garments from the, the, the probably the, the meat that they killed. They probably took the hair from the, the animals that they killed to make the meat, put it on Jacob. So now he can feel hairy and smell like game and animals. The art of deception. <laughs> Jacob the deceiver. But God is still the God of Jacob too. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Keep reading. Hallelujah. And Jacob you, went Jesus. near unto Isaac, his father. And he felt him and said, the voice is Jacob's voice. Ooh. But the hands are the hands of Esau. Now Isaac was a little blind, but his hand was good. He said, man, you brought this food quickly, and you sound like Jacob. You sound like Jacob, but you feel like Esau. Saints of God, and if, I, if I could bring that over to our time just a little bit, it just came to me. We're supposed to hear God. Sometimes we like to go off of our feelings. Oh, this feels right. But what did God say? What did you hear God say? God said, don't do this. Don't do that. But it feels right. This feels like the right thing. It felt like Esau. It didn't sound like him. But it felt like Esau. So Isaac was like, hmm, don't sound right. But it feels. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this meat. He was ready to eat that meat, that flesh. You know, he was ready to appease that flesh. It ain't sound right, but it sure felt good. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Keep reading. And he discerned him not. He didn't he cause his hands were hairy. He didn't discern it. Why? Because his hands were hairy. So he bought the lie. As his brother Esau's hands, so he blessed him. Ooh. And he said, Art thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. He asked, so he, he gave Jacob another chance. He still had doubt. <laughs> and he <laughs> said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat. And he brought him wine, and he drank. So Isaac was content. He had a little doubt, but he cared about that venison. He got that drink and that wine in him. <laughs> he was like, well, it didn't, it, the voice didn't sound like it, but everything else lined up. So I'm going to go ahead and bless him. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and bless him. But he's still the God of Jacob. He's still the God of Jacob. Hallelujah! He's still the God of Jacob. Jacob, the deceiver, the supplanter. God is still his, his God. He's still a God. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. So he blesses him. He eats the food and he blesses him. Continue, sir. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now and kiss me, my son. And he came near and kissed him. And he smelled the smell of his raiment. Smelt his clothes. <laughs> and blessed him. And said, see, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord hath blessed. So he's trying to, he's convincing himself now. Mm. He's uh, reassuring himself that he did the right thing. He said, yeah, it, it smells like him. It, this, this is him. This, this is Esau. I'm, I'm, bl I'm blessing the right person. I am blessing the right person. <laughs> So he kept on doing it. He kept, he kept on with it. Go ahead. Therefore, God give thee of the dew of heaven mm. and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren. Bless, bless Jacob the deceiver. Bless him. Bless him. <laughs> and let thy mother's son bow down to thee. 
Cursed be everyone that curseth thee, and blessed be he that blesseth thee. What a blessing for Jacob, the supplanter, the deceiver, the curser. What a blessing. He just blessed Jacob, the supplanter. <laughs> He's still the God of Jacob. He's the God of Jacob. He is still the God of Jacob, too. Thank you, Jesus. So Jacob, the deceiver, has the blessing. He has the blessing. No matter how he got it, he has the blessing. He got the blessing. Let's drop down to verse 35 and 36. Let's uh, see what Esau, how Esau feels about the situation. So Esau actually went to go hunt and get the food, and here he comes back now. <laughs> and he said, thy brother came with subtlety. Ooh. And hath taken away thy blessing. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? Is he not rightly named the supplanter? <laughs> For he hath supplanted me these two times. Two times. He, he took away my bright birthright. And behold, now he hath taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not received a blessing for me? Have you not reserved a blessing for me? Now, Isaac had messed up. And if we go back a couple of verses, you'll see when Isaac heard Esau, the Bible says he trembled because he realized that he messed up. He realized that he messed up. And here you have Esau, sad, disappointed, deceived twice by his brother. But remember the verse, the scripture I read, Esau, what, despised his birthright. He didn't really want it until he saw his brother get it. His brother really wanted it. Esau didn't really want it. Esau was just going through the motions. He didn't do what he had to do to get it. He didn't care about it. Any Esau's in the house? We have stepping on the things of God. Are we going hard like Jacob for the blessing, for the birthright? <laughs> Are we like Esau? We don't really, yeah, I, can get, I can have it, but I don't really have to have it. It's not that important. The things of God is not that important to me. Are we Esau? Are we Jacob? Now, Jacob is the deceiver. So some people don't want to, like, I don't want to be Jacob. <laughs> but he's the God of Jacob, too. He's the God of Jacob, too. Drop down to verse 41. Same chapter, 27, verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. Esau hated Jacob. He hated him now. He was upset. Now, he, he didn't want to allow him to be deceived now. He allowed himself to be deceived the first time. But now he's mad with Jacob now. He didn't got me twice. My little brother didn't got me twice. <laughs> He's upset now. And see what he says. Look what he purposed in his heart. He's going to do. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are, that are at hand. And will I slay my brother Jacob? Okay. So Esau purposed in his heart that I'm not going to touch Jacob right now. Because my dad is on his deathbed. But boy, when it's over, I'm going to kill Jacob. He said he's going to get Jacob back for usurping him <laughs> and taking his blessing and deceiving him. He's going to get him back. He's going to get him back. So, if we read further on, I'm going to try to expedite your time because I know we had a long weekend. We study the scripture, we see that Jacob was sent away to his uncle Laban's house. Rebecca heard <laughs> what Esau wanted to do. Remember, she loves herself some Jacob, right? <laughs> but she was just as guilty and deceiving as, as Jacob was. You know, some mamas do that. You know, we can't be like that in the house of God, <laughs> right? <laughs> so. She sends him to her, his uncle's house, Laban, right? And she said, when your brother's anger is past, 
I'll, I'll come. I'll send for you to come back, right? But until then, go, right? And uh, Isaac, Isaac, at this point, he he's like, well, he already made the blessing. He can't take it back. <laughs> so he blesses him, sends him off to Laban, tells him to go find a wife. So he's going to find a wife, and he's going to escape his brother's wrath. He's going to his uncle Laban. So in Laban's house, this is when God begins to deal with Jacob. Because remember I said he's still the God of Jacob too. And he still has the blessing. He has the blessing of Abraham and Isaac, his forefathers. He has it. He's carrying the blessing. Jacob loved the Caesar. He didn't do anything to earn it. He just deceives and he's right. He deceives him. And God is going to honor <laughs> the blessing. He's going to honor the blessing. So with that being said, uh, let's go to Genesis chapter 31, verse 3. Who did God speak to? He spoke to Jacob, the what? Supplanter, the deceiver. And the Lord said unto Jacob, Return unto the land of thy fathers and to thy kindred, and I will be with thee. He's talking to Jacob, the deceiver. <laughs> That's who he's talking to. Up to this point, Jacob has spent 20 years with his uncle Laban. His uncle Laban has deceived him and changed his rate wages 10 times. He tricked him to working for him a total of 20 years and serving him. So Jacob got a taste of his own medicine. Uh, see, saints of God, let us not forget the principle. The Bible says that be not deceived. God is not mocked. What a man soweth, that shall he also reap. I don't care how blessed you say you are. If you don't treat people right, uh, God is going to get you back. Uh, you're going to reap just what you sow. You sow to the flesh, hallelujah. You're going to reap corruption. Uh, sow to the spirit. Uh, you'll reap life everlasting. Uh, be not deceived. The law of the harvest is going to continue. As long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest, that don't just apply to the, to the, to the, to the farm, but that applies to the spirit. The world talks about karma, but karma is not of God. He simply said, you reap what you sow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So make sure you're treating people right. I don't care how much you speak in tongues. What am I shy? If you don't treat people right, I question whether you have the love of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you look down on people, think you're better than them. I question whether you have the Holy Ghost. Because God is love. He said, how can you love me? And you don't love your brothers that you see every day. Glory be to God. Be not deceived. We reap what we sow, saints of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Go. Hallelujah. Let's go to our main scripture. Hold on, my shot. Let's go to Genesis chapter 32. Thank you, Lord. We're going to start at verse number three. We're going to read down to verse 12. And we're going to jump to verse 22 through 29. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, 
unto the land of Seir, the country of Edom. All right, start right here. Jacob, remember the scripture that the verse that Lodani read. Get this water. God told Jacob to get back to your kindred, to your father's house, and I will be with thee. That's what God told Jacob, the deceiver. That's what he told him. And so here, Jacob is getting ready to go. God has delivered him from Laban, delivered him from his hands. Now he's getting ready to go back home. He's getting ready to go back to, about to obey God. At this point, Jacob has learned his lesson. He learned his lesson. He repped just what he saw. <laughs> he found out how, how it felt to be deceiving and been cheated on. He, he got it firsthand, 20 years of it. <laughs> so at this point, he knew that that wasn't God. He was carrying the blessing of God. And God was making him and molding him. And prepare him to carry the blessing properly. Properly. He wasn't worthy when God chose him. He wasn't worthy when God chose him. But he still chose him. I'm not worthy. We're not worthy. But what he still chose him. Remember that. So Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, uh, to the land of Seir, the country of Edom. And so, hold on, I'm sorry. Ja <laughs> Jacob is on his way back, right? And so he remembers his sin. He remembered how dirty he did his brother <laughs> and what his brother threatened to do to him. This is 23 years, 20 years later. He still remembers. Jacob had a conscience. He had a conscience. The saints of God, if we do some people wrong, make sure we we feel bad about it. Because <laughs> if we don't, something's wrong. Amen. Something is wrong. If we can do people wrong and we don't feel bad about it or, or, or think that there's not going to be any consequences to it. Jacob, at this point, he's he's fearful now. Because he know he did wrong. He did wrong. <laughs> and now he's fearful. And now he's sending these messages ahead of Esau trying to appease him. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> Go ahead, sister. I'm sorry. And he commanded them, saying, Thus shall ye speak unto my lord Esau. Thy servant Jacob saith thus, I have sojourned with Laban and stayed there until now. And I have oxen and asses flocks and men servants and women servants and I have sent to tell my lord that I may find grace in thy sight so Jacob is is Esau I I know daddy spoke that blessing over me I I don't want none of your stuff I I went to to to, to Laban's house and I increased I got all this stuff so I I I don't want I know dad blessed me but you know I, I don't need I don't need your stuff I don't I don't, I don't want I don't want it. Let's forget about what I did. What I did. In other words, he's trying to, trying to appease him. Go ahead. And the messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to thy brother Esau, and also he cometh to meet thee, and 400 men with him. 400 men with him. Esau coming, and he rolling deep. He got 400 men. 400 riders, soldiers. He ready, they ready to ride for him. For Esau. <laughs> so Jacob hears this, and what he said. Then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed. He was afraid and distressed. God had just delivered him from Laban. Just delivered him from Laban. But it's something about when we have to face something that we know that we did something wrong and we, we messed up, sometimes our confidence in God is, gets a little shaky then. 
we get a little shaky because we know that we were wrong. So we're not as, as confident when we talk to God. We're like, God might not do that, you know, because I did that, you know. But remember, he's still a God of Jacob. He's still a God of Jacob, too. He's still a God of Jacob, too. Thank you, Jesus. Keep reading. Then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed, and he divided the people that was with him and the flocks and herds and the camels into two bands. Now he's strategizing now. Really, Jacob is reverting back to his old self now. <laughs> I got to figure this out now. How am I going to get around my brother? So he's like, all right, we're going to divide the people. <laughs> he can't kill us all. He take one, he can't take the other. So now he's strategizing. He's, 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 he's walk, working in his own wisdom. At this point, Jacob is not trusting God. He's not trusting God. But that's because he's guilty of something that he did. He's guilty. And he's allowing his guilt to win at this point. Because he was wrong. Saints of God, we all wrong sometimes. Right? We all wrong. And if, if, if we be truthful, we all were Jacobs at some point before God saved us. Even after God saved us. But he didn't choose you because of you. It had nothing to do with you. And I'm getting it. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. He didn't <laughs> the title. Not worthy. But he but he chose me anyway. Jacob was not worthy. But he chose me anyway. We are, we're all Jacobs. Thank you, Jesus. Keep reading. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. And said, if Esau come to the one company and smite it, then the other company which is left shall escape. He can't kill us all. <laughs> and Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham and God of my father Jacob, Isaac, the Lord which saidest unto me, return unto thy country and to thy kindred, and I will deal well with thee. All right. So Jacob devises a plan on his own. He makes his own plan. Then he goes to God. <laughs> How many times we do that? <laughs> I'm going to pray about it, but I, I got this backup plan. <laughs> I got this backup plan. <laughs> We got a backup plan. We said, I'm going to give it to the Lord, and the Lord going to take care of it. And then we were like, just in case God don't come through. Especially, especially when it comes to finances. Get ourselves in, un in unnecessary debt simply because we don't want to wait on God. God, help me, help me, deliver me, deliver me. <laughs> just in case you don't. Hey, can I borrow? Can I borrow? But God said, I'm going to supply. I'm going to sustain. I'm going to take care of you. God said, I am going to do it. We don't have to beg. We don't have to get in, into any debt. The blessing of the Lord make it rich out of no sorrow. Hold on, my shy. If it adds sorrow to you, it's not from God. Hallelujah. It came from the devil. God want to bless us today. Lord, am I shy? He's the God of Jacob, too. Thank you, Jesus. Continue reading. Hallelujah. I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies and of all the truth which thou hast shown Wait. unto thy servant. Jacob is humbling himself right now before God. He's For with humbling himself. Go ahead. Go ahead. For with my staff I passed over this Jordan, and now I am become two bands. He's two bands because of what he he did, though. God ain't telling him to divide. <laughs> he didn't went to God after he didn't did what he did. But he's humbling himself. He admitting to God, hey, I, I'm nothing. I'm not worthy. He he has the right posture before God now. He has the right posture now. Thank you, Jesus. Keep reading. Deliver me, 
I pray thee. Deliver me. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him. I fear him. He admitted. He's admitting that he's, he's fearful. God has not given us the spirit of fear, power, love, and what? Sound mind. But that's what saints, we're, we're human. We be honest, we get fearful sometimes, especially when we're approaching situations that we, we don't know what to expect. Fear can, can come. But God, his spirit, is there to comfort us. That's why he give us each other. The strong bears the infirmities of the weak. So I, I was feeling down this week. Thank God he sent my pastor at work with me, and he encouraged me. And I felt so much better. Saints of God, we got a real man of God. He's a real human being. <laughs> he was very transparent with me. We have a real man of God who really cares for the people of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My mom told me I had a real pastor. She said, don't take it for granted. I saw firsthand when we was at work. Thank God for the man of God. We don't worship the man of God, but we honor the man of God. All right. Thank you, Jesus. What am I shy? Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So Jacob is praying. He says, deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau. He says, I fear him. Are we fearing anything in our lives today, saints of God? Because God has a remedy. He's still the God. He's still the God of Jacob, too. Let's, just, let's expedite, because I want to get to my <laughs> <laughs> for I fear him lest he will come and smite me and the mother with the children so he's scared that he's going to be killed and that his, his wife and his children are going to be killed this is, he's being honest with God he's telling him straight up that's how God wants us to come to him be honest because he already knows he knows the very thought we think before, before we think he knows our very heart he knows the desires of your heart sister Kim he knows exactly what you need before you need it. And he's already made provision and remedy for it. He just says, trust me. Trust me and obey. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 12. And thou saidest, I will surely do thee good and make thy seed as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. Let's stop there. So he's basically rehearsing God's word to him. Saints of God, we have to remind God of what he said. He's, he's praying the word back to him. You said that you were going to be with me <laughs> and that you was going to deliver me. You told me to go back to my kindred's house and my father's house. You told me, God. So he's reminding God of what God said. And how many know God is not a man that what he should lie? Neither the son of man that what he has to repent. If he said it, shall he not make it good? If he said it, he's going to do it. So Jacob is reminding God what he said. Sometimes we got to pray God's word back to him. Because it cannot return a tomb void. So just remind God. Just remind God. And he will remember. Yesterday, I think Pastor Matt referenced uh, with Noah. God remembered Noah. He remembered them. Then guess what? He sent a fresh wind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's still sending the wind. <laughs> Sister Hope, you, I don't think he was able to make it yesterday, but he can send you a wind today. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm Shia. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All you got to do is praise him. I call you the female version of David. <laughs> Just give him a David praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go to verse 22. Hallelujah. And he rose up that night and Jacob. took his. Jacob, we're talking about Jacob. Yeah. And he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two woman servants and his eleven sons and passed over the ford Jabbok. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had. All right, so Jacob is making his last stand now. 
And Jacob. He's getting close to his brother Jacob or his, uh, his brother Esau. You, you get us, Esau. <laughs> He's getting close to his brother Esau. <laughs> he's, he's getting close to his brother Esau. And so now he's making his last ditch effort. He has his wife and his children with him. And he's putting them in the place of safety. He's trying to put them in the place of safety at this point. And we're going to see what happens with Jacob in the next verse. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. So Jacob sends his wives and children he sends them ahead in a place of safety, and Jacob finds himself alone. Jacob is all by himself, dealing with this fear of his brother. He's all by himself now. All by himself. Let's go ahead, brother. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. As he wrestled with him. Okay, so Jacob, he's 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 fighting with his his last strength now. Now the scripture says that he fought with a man, right? He wrestled with a man. Uh, a lot of times we hear people say he wrestled with an angel, but it wasn't an angel. It wasn't an angel. We'll, we'll find out. We keep reading the scripture, but it wasn't an angel. The Bible says he wrestled with a man. Until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, this is the man. We're talking about the man didn't prevail against Jacob, right? He saw that he wasn't winning against Jacob. Jacob was having, uh, had a lot of resolve. Jacob had a lot of fight in him still, right? The man touches the hollow of his thigh. Basically, he he takes his, his hip joint out of joint. So he cripples Jacob during this fight. Right? So keep going. And he said, let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. Jacob was desperate. His hip is out of joint. And this man says, let me go, for the day breaketh. Jacob said, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. I am fearing my life. I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way I'm going to turn. I cannot let you go until you bless me. Until you bless me. Until you bless me. Until you deliver me. I can't let you go. He was desperate. He was desperate. And so, what does the man say? And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. All right. Stop on that verse. So the man takes his hip out of joint. And he wrestles. Jacob is like, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. So the man looks at him and says, what is your name? What's your name? So Jacob, is, he's at the, the brink of reaching the place that God promised him, right? God told him to go back to his kindred, go back to his family, go back where he came from. He's this close to that place. But he's returning as Jacob, the deceiver. He's still trying to fight in his own power. He's still trying to do it his way. Still was trying to do it his way as Jacob, right? So he asked him, he said, what is your name? What's your name? He said, my name is Jacob. Jacob the deceiver. Jacob the deceiver. That was his name. But Jacob was not that person anymore. 
Hallelujah. He wasn't that person anymore. Hallelujah. He was known as Jacob. He was known as the deceiver. Hallelujah. But that wasn't who he was anymore. Hallelujah. So the man looks at him and said, and your name shall no longer, hallelujah, be called Jacob, hallelujah, but it's going to be called Israel, hallelujah, because you have prevailed against man and have authority with God, hallelujah. He changed his name to Israel, hallelujah. He wasn't worthy, hallelujah, to be called and be chosen, hallelujah, but God still chose him, hallelujah, and changed his name, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said, thou has prevailed. Jacob the deceiver. He wasn't that person anymore. But God changed his reputation, basically. He was changing his identity. You can't go back and be identified as Jacob anymore. What the scripture tells us, any man be what in Christ, he's what a new creature Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. He had to change his reputation, change his identity. Now, Jacob let the man go. He said, let me go to the daybreaker, right? So this man, saints of God, this is the first appearance we see of the son of God. He asks him, what's his name? He can't tell him his name yet. Because the name of God will not be, for, re, be revealed until Christ came. So he couldn't tell him. <laughs> he couldn't tell him that. So he blessed him, and he, he, he got away. He left. Right? So Jacob, this is the thing about Jacob. This is the point I want to make, say to God, and we're going to wrap it up. All right? <laughs> we're going to wrap it up. I want us to go to Genesis 25 and 23, and I want you to keep in mind the title. I wasn't worthy, but he chose me. He changed my name. He's the God of Jacob, too. He's the God of Jacob, too. And this is the significance of this teaching today. Go to Genesis chapter 25, verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. He's talking to Rebecca. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be together, and the other sh the one and the people, one shall, people be shall be stronger yes. than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. So this is while Jacob is in his mother's womb. God had already chose him. Already chose him while he was yet in his mother's room. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody get me Romans 9, 10 through 13. Let's go there quickly, quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Romans 9, 10 through 13. Who got it? Hope we can get it. We good. We got it. I love you, sister. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Let's get it. Who got it? Who got it? Romans 9, 10 through 13. What the scripture says. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. So Paul is referencing Genesis chapter 25, verse 23, where we just read. That whole event. Go ahead. For the children being not yet born. Not yet born in the womb. Neither having done any good or evil. Didn't do any good. Didn't do any evil. They didn't do anything yet. In other words, they didn't do anything to, to, to gain God's favor or anything. Didn't do anything. Keep going. That the purpose of God according to election might stand. Whose purpose? The purpose of God. The purpose of God. Hallelujah. God chose us for his purpose. It don't have nothing to do with us. Saints of God, that's why we can't walk around high-minded, because it don't have nothing to do with us. He didn't choose us because we were so good. That's why I said he's still the God of Jacob, too. While we were yet sinners, hallelujah, Christ had died for us. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish. He's the God of Jacob too. He's the God of your Jacob. Thank you, Jesus. Keep reading, keep reading. That the purpose of God according to election might stand, not of works, not of works, but of him that calleth. Who calleth? God. Of him that calleth, because of God called. It was said unto her. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. God had already chosen Jacob before he even came out of his mother's womb. Saints of God, when you realize this, we understand that it is not about us. It's never about us, but it's all about the purpose and the will of God. Amen. He wants to get in us to will and do his good pleasure. Present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto him, which is our what? Reasonable service. Uh, be not conformed to what? This world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We don't belong to ourselves, but we belong to God. Get Psalm 20 and 1. Psalm 20 and 1. Because he's still the God of Jacob, too. He's still the God of Jacob, too. 20 and 1. Go ahead, Sister Lorraine. Lorraine, uh, Lorraine, you got it. The name of the God of who? Israel. No, Israel. Jacob. Jacob. He's still the God of Jacob, too. Hallelujah. He's still the God of Jacob, too. Don't let the devil think because you made mistakes that you're not where you need to be. God is still your God. He still chose you before the foundations of the world. He told the disciples, he said, I have not, you haven't chosen me, but I have chosen you. That you can produce fruit and that the fruit can remain. God chose you when you was Jacob. Hallelujah. Had nothing to do, hallelujah, with you being so good and so holy. But he chose you when you was Jacob. He called you when you was Jacob. He called you when you wasn't worthy. He qualified you when he called you. Thank you, Jesus. What am I shy of? Don't let no devil in hell make us think that we are not it. God made us somebody. And so I'm more than a conqueror through him that loves me. I can do all things through Christ what, who strengthens me. Because he chose me. He didn't choose everybody, but he chose me. A remnant in the earth to represent him. The body of Christ. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? Who wouldn't serve a God like that? He saw our dusty selves and he still said, I choose you. I still want to use you. People might see him as Jacob, a deceiver, but God sees him as Israel. The one that prevailed and has power with God. You're not your past. You're not what people identify you as. But our identity is found in Christ. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the ground. All of my shire is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. My identity is found in Christ. He covered me. Glory be to God. Cousin, your identity is found in Christ. Hallelujah. Hold up my shire. Thank you, Jesus. You are not your mistakes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is here to deliver. Thank you, Jesus. Standing all over the building. Hallelujah. Let's just give God uh, some praise for choosing us when we weren't worthy. Thank you, Jesus. When we didn't deserve it, God still chose us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. From sinking sand, he lived. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The 
songwriter said, from sinking sand, he lifted me. From tender hands, he lifted me. We were on sinking sand. But God still chose us. Some of us used to sell dope. Some of us were murderers. Some of us were, 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 were womanizers or women of the street, <laughs> prostitutes, pimps. But guess what? God saw you as a child of God. God said, I want to use you. 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 Everybody under the sound of my voice, God said, I got purpose for you, and I want to use you. We're not here by accident. But we serve an intentional God. God was intentional. He didn't randomly choose Jacob. He was intentional when he chose Jacob. Bible says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. He didn't make no mistake. Thank you, Jesus. If you're in the body, he, he got work for you. Thank you, Jesus. If anybody desires to come before the altar, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, get special prayer. We thank God for his presence this weekend. Hallelujah. I had no idea what really what I wanted to go with today, but God is faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Just remember that he's the God of Jacob too, saints of God. Every time you mess up, just get back up and keep going. He didn't choose you because you're so perfect. He's making us perfect. Paul called himself, Lord, remove this thorn from me. He said, Paul, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. I need you to be weak. And guess what, saints of God? Jacob, his hip got put out of joint. Guess what? He, saw, he had to walk with a limp. Guess what? That limp was there to remind him. To remind him that he, he's no match for God. That he can't fight on his own. He got to trust God. Same concept with Paul. God ain't going to remove that thorn. That thing is there to keep us humble. And let God be glorified in us. So we can keep going to him. He's going to keep empowering us. Like I said, it seems I, I had no idea really what I wanted to say today. I, I really didn't know. Because <laughs> his strength is made perfect in our weakness. I told Pastor Mac, I said, let this cup pass from me. <laughs> Pastor Mac wasn't trying to hear me. <laughs> but I, I thank God for a man of God that challenges me, keeps me on my toes. Uh, God bless you. Thank you. Come on, let's lift our hands all over the house. Yeah. Hallelujah. You thought I was receiving. Help me sing that. So you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. So you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. So I can be free, so I can be whole, so I can tell everyone. You thought I, I was worth saving. You thought I was worth saving. So you came and changed my life. So you came and changed my life. You thought I you was worth keeping. Come on, lift your hands and let's worship the Lord. Yeah, yeah. So you clean me up inside. Say. You thought I was to die for. So you sacrificed your life so I could be free, so I could be home. So Come on, let's I sing that again. Yeah, everybody. You thought, I, you thought I was worth saving. Yes. So you 
you came and changed so my life. How many thank God for a changed life? life? Yes, Lord. You thought I was worth keeping. So you cleaned me up inside. So you cleaned me up inside. You thought what I was to die for. You thought I was to die for. Woo! So you sacrificed. So you sacrificed your life. Yes. So I can be free. How many so free? So I can be whole. So I could tell everyone I know. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. To the God. To the God who saved my life. So I could be free. Yes. So I could be whole. Yes. So I could tell Come on, we get ready to go. Let's worship the Lord. Oh! 
Come on, church. Let's keep praying. Let's keep praying. Let's keep praying. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Through the good times, Jesus. Even through the bad times, I still bless you. I'll still live for you, Lord. When things are going good, even when things are going bad, I still bow to praise you. I still bow to praise you. I'm going to bless your name, Jesus. I'm going to give your name, Lord. I'm going to honor you, Jesus. Worship the Lord forever, 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 forever. Lord, I worship you. I'll live my life for you from this day forward. Worship the Lord. Hallelujah. commit myself to you, Lord. I want to commit my way to you, Lord Jesus. I want to follow you, Lord. Anybody want to make that commitment? I want to follow you, Lord. That's it, Hakeem. That's it. The Lord, he's going to help you. He will never leave you. Never forsake you. He sees where you are. Hadn't forgotten about you. He hadn't forgotten about you. Commit yourself to the Lord. Commit your way to the Lord. No excuses. The world may still see you as Jacob. God said, I'm going to change your name. I want to change your name. Let me change your name. Let me change your walk. Let me change your walk. Let me get you in a place where you're by yourself and I can wrestle with you. And I can speak to you. And I can remind you and I'm always going to be there. I'm always going to be there. And then I can send you back to your kindred. And you will have no fear in you. You'll be able to testify of my goodness. Come on, somebody. If God did it for me, he'll do it for you. That's going to be your testimony. That's going to be your testimony. If God did it for me, he'll do it for you. We serve a God. We serve a great 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 God. 
Yes, let's go. One more time. One more round. Come on.
Let's lift up our hands one more time. Hallelujah. Woo. He thought I was worth it. He thought I was worthy. He thought I was worthy. Glory to God. Let's give God praise for the word. Let's give God praise for the moving of his spirit. The wind, the wind is still blowing. Let's give God praise for the man of God that spoke the word. Let's give God praise. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on and shout hallelujah. Come on and shout hallelujah. Brother Hakeem, stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with it, brother. God bless you, brother. Come on, man. Give me a hug, brother. Glory to God. Glory to God. I prophesy to him the the best is yet to come for him. The best is yet to come. Stick, stick with your brother. Stick with your, your cousin. Your cousin. Follow, follow, follow. Follow. Follow, follow. You heard what the scripture says? Why he why they were in the belly. The Lord spoke that to Rebecca. You got two nations. Two of them in there. And I know what the order of things is. Oh, yeah, is. I said that right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order. The elder is going to serve the young. That's what kind of God we serve. Some more, you have to serve. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you have to serve the younger. I'm just kidding. Glory to God. We serve. We serve a good God today. We serve a good God today. Amen. God changes the order of things just to reach somebody. Glory to God. 
heard this young man on the phone late last night talking with Elder uh, Elder White. Amen. All the way from Jacksonville, North Carolina. Amen. God is definitely going to continue to bless. You're looking for a good church. This is a good church. You said the right church? This is the right church. Somebody, somebody else want to testify of that? Right church. <laughs> Holy Ghost. Mighty God. But I know Brother Williams, I know I don't want to mess up your name. It's a, it's good also again to have Brother Leroy. Amen. Brother Leroy Williams. I tell you what, I, I see a good confidence on your face. I can't see all of your face. But <laughs> But just enough that I see, I see, I see the joy of the Lord in your eyes. I see the joy of the Lord in your eyes. And again, you're welcome anytime to join with us. Amen. But TJ, you good? You feel all right? Amen. God bless you. Amen. We're getting ready to go home. I forgot to uh, acknowledge these two young ladies. This is their first time here. Amen. There's another niece, two, two more nieces. Kanaya and Scott. Oh, okay, good, good. So this, how y'all doing? Y'all doing good? It was good to have y'all here today. Come back and see us, okay? All right. God bless you. Sister Hope. Uh, <laughs> um, can the young adults just meet right after the service? It, it'll be very, very brief. Amen, amen. Remember, Friday night, we're preparing for youth service. Amen? Amen. Let's let's pray for Brother Levine. He's going to bring us a word. Amen? We got to get a fly out. All right, we're going to get a fly out today. Amen? And we're going to uh, flood Facebook, Instagram. Amen. Give me a good picture. Send, send us a good picture, okay? What do you say? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God is good. How many are excited about Friday night? Our young people. Our young people are going to be uh, in charge of the service. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Sister, Sister Keanu, you good? Amen. You got something you want to say? Okay. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to say again, amen, to thank you for all those who traveled yesterday, amen, to uh, North Carolina to the service, a wonderful service, amen. Thank God for each and every one of you in Jesus' name. Those of you that didn't go but was praying and supporting, we praise God for you as well in Jesus' name, amen. 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 God is good. Thank God for Elder Josh driving. I tell you what, he be, he know how to beat time, right? <laughs> sister, uh, sister, I heard Sister uh, Sister Zai getting off the van yet last night in the in the hu- at the house. She said, "Boy, if he drive the van like this, I could imagine how he drive his car." <laughs> you used to it. 